Hello everyone, and how are you doing? Today we are watching my instant ability solar power episode 7 and 8. In the previous episode, Yagiri and Tomochika somehow ended up in a magical tower and have been put through a trial to become a swordmaster. Not that any of them wanted it. Now they have to travel down the tower and eventually face a threat of a demon lord and his army. That is, if he actually wakes up. Because he might not, and our characters will just wander to see the sage and meet their classmates. But how will all of that unfold? Well, let's find out from this episode. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to help my channel grow. And if you wish to see this reaction in full opacity and length as a separate episode 7 and 8, the link for my Patreon is down below. Hmm, she's quite a pretty character. Hmm, to be honest, why are they keeping half demons? <laughs> He's so horrible. <laughs> She's such a bully. Standard opening of gate number one confirmed. Oh wow. Why do they all look the same? <laughs> They're so funny and they're like androids or something. Is that a demon? With three wings. Three pairs of wings. Yeah, they just, just like that became swords of uh, divine knights and... I'll be honest with you, like... That don't make sense because they haven't finished going down the tower. The tower got blown away. Poor boy holding the apology stone, oh my god. No, I can't believe he's so powerful and none of them is like doing anything. Oh well, I never liked this guy, he was quite rude. Whoa, girl, she's really powerful. <laughs> no, oh my god, he swallowed it like a black hole, honestly. Two of them, <laughs> even the sword master seems to be sweating. Hand with a wand. He's, she's missing a hand now. Oh my god, how can she turn her hand into a sweet? That's disgusting. <laughs> oh my god, all the confidence has been taken from that girl. Okay, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Something amazing, like a super awesome sword. Oh no. If you've got a bad feeling about it, then <gasps> not the useless goddess again. Surprising. So is she gonna help? Is she gonna help them? She is a dark goddess. Oh no! This guy's luck just couldn't be any worse. Same. OMG, like seriously. And just how powerful is she, by the way? Because we don't actually know if she's powerful or not. They are heading to a place where perhaps this girl's sister is. So, is it like a prison in a, t in a tower? Why would the tower have prisoners? What was that scream? That was so creepy. She saw something. A blade passed through her body. That's strange. And why would it help them? What's going on? That's all of her comrades. Stored in containers. Do you know what it reminds me of? Those containers where they put like creatures to either grow them or in this case suck their magic power. Oh my god. Oh, poor girl. That's really awful, like I wasn't expecting something so horrible to happen. <sighs> this anime is full of all sorts of genres. Swordmaster is a real nasty person. I mean, we know already because we like literally told everyone to kill each other and that was their test. Like, what the hell? Who does that? A divine Swordmaster? I don't think so. 
This place is full of surprises. Especially this goddess. She doesn't even look like a bad goddess, but she behaves like an ignorant little bitch. <laughs> Don't tell me he's becoming a sword master. That's so harsh! He's such an asshole, this sword master is absolutely disgusting and horrible. You're darling? And who is that? The demon lord. Is her darling? Oh gosh. Oh my god, Yagiri totally killed him. Who would have thought that it was... It was the goddess killer? It's not his fault though, it's Yagiri and the fact that they had intention of killing him, so... You know. What could have Yagiri have done? Besides, they have Yagiri. <laughs> I love how she's casually talking about it as if it's just like, eh, it's just a fact, it's just a buyer, let's crush it. <laughs> well, if they are there... Okay. If these guys were so powerful, because they have a goddess on their side, then how, how powerful will this uh, demon lord will be? Dead? <laughs> it's actually dead? <gasps> so Yagiri totally killed him earlier on. <laughs> Swordmaster is gone. Girl, I'm thankful because I did not like that guy at all. Why not? <laughs> OMG, that's the monster from a different dimension? Yeah, I can't tell what's what. <laughs> it's so funny when he like flies away and screams so much. Oh dear, she actually got healed. Oh god, they don't understand that he's totally gone now. Yeah, we'll see about that. So all she can do is just make a barrier. That's why she had this barrier made up for the Dark Lord for however many hundreds of centuries. Uh... <laughs> oh my god, they just all falling like flies. <laughs> um... No, but I think he likes the um... boobs. Wow, this one is absolutely going crazy. She totally lost it. Her darling is dead. <laughs> the thing is, all she's doing is just acting crazy and not actually, actually doing anything with this power. And now we have the assassin. Oh my god, this is the worst combination of everything at once. Uh, yeah, he's just behind. <laughs> I'm Aya, I came to kill him. Yeah, like, hell, no one's gonna help you. He just needs to stab her? Well, that seems too easy. Wait, this is instant death, he's so overpowered. <laughs> he's going for it, he's going for it. So all this time she was like, ah, look how powerful! And she just did. That was quick. Oh my god, I don't like this guy. <sighs> Such a crybaby and waste of space. It's just has awful character. That's like I said, girl, you better be prepared because this assassin is strong. Oh. <sighs> so she got terrified of his power, he's too strong for her. The final destination of all fates. Now, that's scary. If you think about it, if he's the final destination of all fates, that means that 
This is so hilarious. Oh my gosh, she totally chickened. <laughs> you have nothing to bear again. <laughs> You're so gross. Creepo. Oh yeah, right, what happened to that? OMG, they totally fell for it. I fell for it too. True that. Well, the tower is gone, so not really. And the tower doesn't need to be there anymore because the barrier is gone. The demon lord is dead. Lack of ability. <laughs> she knows and he completely has no idea. <laughs> like, yeah, totally. Oh yeah, it just kind of, kind of happened, you know. Uh, I am a literal death. <laughs> <laughs> totally, yeah. <laughs> oh, I feel bad for this girl for losing her arm. Perhaps there is a healer that could heal it. Do you know what this girl reminds me of? Another one, the one that was with the vampires. Yeah, that's her. You know where there was the pyramid and the pyramid was gone because of the darkness was approaching and swallowed the hill. And then we saw the vampires there and she obviously got defeated. Yeah, that's definitely her. I wonder if she actually survived. <laughs> no, I don't wanna. <laughs> that's cute. I love that he said that to her. You know, when you look at this pendant, it kind of had a proper insignia like of a higher up. So this boy is not an ordinary boy. I think he might be like a higher rank lord in the kingdom or higher up than that. Plus, if he is sure that this pendant will get them anywhere, he might even be a royalty, right? Yeah, I'm curious about that. And you know what, honestly, I have nothing against this character's appearance. It's literally his horrible character. It's just a crybaby and he's quite awful as well. Oh, big coward and crybaby fallen into hands of enemies. Not good. Oh no. That's the doctor from the Research Institute. God, I hate her false face and smile. <laughs> you broke his glass. What's going on? What's going on? Well, Yogi didn't kill him before the time came to an end. His head exploded. Guys, I have no idea what's going on anymore. There's so many genres crossing over. There's so much going on. But the episode was great, honestly. But the way the things went, I like it. I am definitely surprised that the goddess was evil. I knew she was a bit silly, but you know these animes where the goddess are silly and they are someone in the hero. But this one literally just wanted the unluckiest guy on earth. And I hope he like doesn't believe in Sword Master's swords that he's useless and he had no expectations of him anyway that was so harsh you have to be such a horrible person to say that honestly so glad the sword master got defeated and the fact that he was using half demons to power the barrier awful honestly that's the best that they arrived in disconnecting from virtual body this girl was dead 
She's an android? Wait, wait a minute. They can turn a dead body into android or was she an android from the beginning? I am so confused right now. Okay, remove a limiter. She became a battle unit. So what, she gonna consume it? Well, that's a grip. <laughs> so we're back to the past of when Yagi was being taken care of Asaka. Oh. <laughs> He's not holding back, is he? But if he can kill anything, can he kill? How? But and this food is. Oh, how would that help? No, that don't make sense. Ignore me. Poor boy. How bad can you can the food be? Honestly, I don't understand. Like I have burned some things in the past, but you can kind of just survive on it, you know. <laughs> Apparently so. A courier? Okay. That is a creepy android. Yeah, I don't think that's good, you know. <laughs> and a dog! <laughs> she said, yes. <laughs> so creepy, honestly, guys. Like the view is peaceful but nothing is happening. <laughs> Why though? <laughs> These people are so harsh, it's unbelievable. I mean, yeah, they could all die. Oh, that is gonna be a lot of monies in there. Cool. Okay, so she's not a prisoner, that's great. I swear this guy is so hard. Would you like to leave? Uh, will you actually let her go? I don't think so. No! <laughs> well, but at least it's not burned. Is she in a prison? <gasps> oh my god, she spent a lot of money. <laughs> I can see myself doing that one day, you know? <laughs> so they are this agency. So they could have sent that android after Yagiri? She's so creepy, oh my god. Oh my god. Reminds me of like those 90s Furbies from McDonald's that were making weird noise after they were out of battery. <laughs> yeah, like you better answer before you get into trouble. Uh, <laughs> he's so nice to her. I can totally kill her. And she knows that. Oopsie. They're all dead and he got out. Damn. <laughs> That's proper harsh, isn't it? Oh no, he's gonna kill her. But if he's gonna kill her, or he will try to kill her, then he will die as well, right? Just as a thought. Wow, that was quick. Yeah, she's just on vacation. Well, technically she's just been captured by the enemy. Oh. 
That's interesting. That had enough power to have the Akiri. But it can't oppose the agency. Don't tell Asaka. I'm just an innocent boy. He doesn't need to know that I'm actually a killer. <laughs> or a death itself. Mm. Jesus. He went to the agency. Well, that's fast. <laughs> oh, is it really not? And how do you think are you going to oppose it, though? Hmm? Maybe sniper. But no, if, if they have a kill in intent, then there you go. They're all dead. <laughs> oh, girl, I'm so sorry. Well, he's coming for you, that's for sure. <gasps> it's that girl. We saw it in episode one. She was holding her captive and Yagyu and just killed her. Yeah, and you believed it. Boom! <laughs> yeah, dead. I shouldn't laugh. This anime is so ridiculous at times that you just can't help but laugh, can you? She's happy to see him. But all the dead bodies around, how is she gonna react to it? Is she gonna freak out? Oh, Yagiri got sad. She's not angry. Oh, that's good. That's a difference for him because everyone is like terrified of him always. And there's a doggy. Oh. Okay, so they're going to discuss something important. Uh, why is she still in her pajamas? Give her some clothes. Yeah, literally. No one can approach that boy. Oh, she's stuck in there. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, it must be hard for him to believe in the real world. Like later on, because if there is literally someone that like approaches him in a dark alley, wants to hurt him or whatever, they just die straight away. You can't even teach them a lesson, they just die forever. <laughs> I know all the stuff that she bought, they all gone, all the money that she has been given for like a month allowance, just poof, disappeared. But it might be nice to take a vacation like this, you know, taking care of the world threat. Well, yeah, <laughs> but you know, I think he likes her. <laughs> Definitely likes her boobs. <laughs> oh. Well, that was fast. <laughs> yeah, just instant death. You don't want to do that just before, like, entering the whole kingdom. Oh yeah, the immortal cogs are where the enemy. Will that be enough to get them in? Well... They don't really have gifts that can be measured, right? So Celestina san must have done something to make them look like they have gifts, right? Oh, I knew, I knew it that this is something important. <laughs> I didn't just give it to her, I completely forgot, didn't he? <laughs> Royal family crest, there we go. That's cool. That is cool. Hmm? Youngest princes are so careless and aloof. Oops. <laughs> That's not good. Well, but didn't Danora's ghost? Picked up that sword from the machine. Do you remember that? Maybe she can like, take that sword out and show them, but no, they just want to fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
大丈夫なあやつのファンタジーレベルは低いのでなファンタジーレベルは低いのでなファンタジーレベルは低いのでなファンタジーレベルは低いのでなファンタジーレベルは低いのでなファンタジーレベルは低いのでなファンタジーレベルは低いのでなファンタジーレベルは低いのでなファンタジーレベルは低いのでなファンタジーレベルは低いのでなファンタジーレベルは低いのでなファンタジーレベルは低いのでなファンタジーレベルは低いのでなファンタジーレベルは低いのでなファンタジーレベルは低いのでなファンタジーレベルは低いのでなファンタジーレベルは低いのでなファンタジーレベルは低いのでなファンタジーレベルは低いのでなファンタジーレベルは低いのでなファンタジーレベルは低いのでなファンタジーレベルは低いのでなファンタジーレベルは低いのでなファンタジーレベルは低いのでなファンタジーレベルは低いのでなファンタジーレベルは低いのでなファンタジーレベルは Cutlery. Oh, she totally kicked him in the balls. Oh man, I must really hurt. <laughs> Yakuri is not impressed. He's just shocked. No, actually, he looks impressed. His cheeks were blushed. But I think he just didn't get it. <laughs> okay. Totally. I bet he is. You totally did, though. <laughs> you know, you don't have to kick hard, it's just in the right place. And I feel bad for boys, I do. Was that this magician that he killed? Oh, well, he was a good guy, I suppose. Not really, I don't think if anyone there is really good or bad. And now that Dark God? Um, how many Dark Gods is there? <laughs> what does it make Yakira the ultimate Dark The ultimate Dark God? <laughs> oh, yeah. After all. They abandoned them, and some of them were trying to kill them and loot them. Not nice, not nice at all. It's interesting that they all got there on time. I like Tomochika's new clubs, by the way. The king. Oi. Even if this is an isekai war, you shouldn't be so rude to king, you know, have some manners. <gasps> oh my god, he totally severed his fingers. But what was his power? What was he trying to do? Why was he feeling so powerful? Freezing technique was invincible. <laughs> it's time to shoot your mouths. I love it. I just love it. Like defeating the like, bad sage, perhaps? Could that be a great achievement? Or Yogi is the instant of power that can take down the whole universe? I bet you anything, honestly, he can literally kill anything. His power got through this barrier, right? And this barrier was so thick that any power, any attack traveling through the barrier would take like hundreds of years to get through to the Dark Lord. And he just killed it in an instant. What does it tell you? And there are those doors that are closed that are limiting Yagira's power, right? One of those doors have already opened. <laughs> so, I don't know. I think at his full power, he definitely killed the universes. It's crazy. The sad thing is that he cannot create anything. He can just kill it. So it's not. It's useful for self-defense, but it's not really helpful. It's not really good. He's not killing bad people, but he's also not killing really like not every single character there that he killed was really, really bad, right? Because some of them were like they could have been taught a lesson, but Yakiri gives them no chance whatsoever. I'm not justifying him, and I'm not defending him. I honestly don't know, guys. It is interesting anyway. I'm gonna continue react into it. Uh, this episode for YouTube will have two reactions all together. Only the Patreon will receive a separate reaction to episode 7th and 8th. Enjoy! And see you in my next episode. Bye!